Hi, my name is Brenna. I'm Zach. And this is our dog, Ari. Um, she has separation anxiety and we have a lot of trouble walking her on the leash. So we um, contacted the Dog Whisperer, um, basically to help us with these issues with her. And we've been working on it for about an hour and 40 minutes and we've already gotten her to walk a lot better on the leash. And we've what worked a lot on making sure she doesn't bark when we leave and just um, really taking control and us being the pack leader versus letting our dog already be the pack leader. You have anything to say? Um, I'll just say that we took her to Petco for six weeks and we got her a little trained. She taught, she learned how to sit and lie down and that sort of thing. But really, I would say that this experience has been more about training up the, uh, the owners instead of the uh, dog and it's been a much better experience in a couple of hours than what we had six weeks with Petco. Yeah. Okay. Elisa came and did a general basic um, obedience with my dog. He was very hyper. Within an hour, she came through and taught me some basic techniques to um, make him cool, calm, and collected. him chasing chickens and cats and and walking and today we got him where he uh, didn't want to chase the chickens he lost the interest at them and we've walked him and we even got a collar on him and he's the cats are more calm around him now um, I called the lease down to my house because uh, my little dog is getting on my last nerve uh, she wouldn't listen, couldn't get control of her, um, actually couldn't get her to listen to anything. It was all what she wanted to do. So I wanted her down here to help me get control of Coco. Coco is a miniature shizu or imperial really, and she just thought she ran the house. She took over. And Elise helped me, uh, showed me how to do that without so she would listen down. She uh sit. She just wouldn't listen at anything. Energy change and they think that you think they know what they're you're yelling at them or getting onto them about. Mm -hmm. But it's it's your energy that they're getting scared of, you know, the the loud voice, um, I took a chair and I tied her up. Mm -hmm with her leash, you know, and make her sit there where the, she had urinated. Uh -huh. That way she smelled it and she knew she was being punished for it. And she peed uh -huh. two times. That was it after that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that if the smell was there that they would continue going there. And they will. They, well, not if they know what they're being punished about. She knew that she got disciplined uh -huh. over it being in the floor. And a dog won't pee or poop where they eat or sleep. So if she feels confined there, in her mind, that's where she's going to, that's her home. Mm -hmm. So she won't do it again. So when we're up there hanging out, like tonight's family moving night, uh -huh. should I bring the pen up there to that room and keep Eric in the pen up there? I would until he gets more instinct to go out. Because I've caught him a few times in the middle of him going to the bathroom in the house, and I, I said, no, 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 and I picked him up, and like, I put him outside, and I said, you go potty here. Uh -huh. But like, how is he supposed to know that right. door shut? That's exactly right. 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 And he will make him learn. You will see him sitting at the door or go to the door. Okay. You just have to be very vigilant in watching his actions. Okay. Because until he learns to bark or something, he'll go to the door and he'll sit. Because that instinct is to go outside. Okay. Right now, he don't. He's getting the instinct. Yeah. But he's not fully got the instinct, and it's not his fault, you know. <laughs> yeah. But he will. Okay. Change to where you don't have all those problems anymore yeah. because you have the tools to continue. Okay. When I leave, you know what to do now. Okay. So the the walking, you just don't hold on to it. Just right. No tension. Right. When he's going Either out of up or sideways. Never sideways. Pull back. Okay. Okay, and then what about dog poop bags? They can't attach to those leashes. 
Oh yeah, I forgot you have to do that here. <laughs> you don't do that for you, no. but my Uh, well, as you can see, I've worked probably 15 minutes with him. Um, he was jumping. He had hurt her dad real bad. Um, he wasn't walking. As you can see in the video, he's already walking. He's already been calm submissive. People, it's just that simple. You've got to be strong to make your dog weak. So this is Harley, and he's a good dog now, and he's going to be a joy and not a dread. Dog Whisperer out. Yeah, so, I mean, we really, like, had a lot of trouble with her being aggressive towards visitors and being really aggressive with her bone and trying to claim our whole yard and our neighbor's yard. Uh, they, you know, they nicknamed her Barkley because she barked at him so much. And uh, now, yeah, all that's kind of fixed. Lots of jumping, lots of all that. And, yeah, now we've just learned that, Honestly, just calming ourselves down first helps her more than anything. Just to put her at ease. Well, okay. Okay, so I come in and Raiden was uh, very hyper, jumping on the kids. And I've worked with him, what, a couple of hours? Yep. And now well, he was going to have to stay in a crate all day because he couldn't get along with the other dog. He was knocking the kids over. So what have you seen that's happened now that I've kind of worked with him? He's, um, he's a lot calmer and he's doing pretty well around the children, kind of ignoring them and uh, respecting their boundaries. <laughs> the dog was bred because our dogs were being aggressive towards one another and just today in a couple of hours they have improved a lot and um, well this is the first time we've been able to sit outside together without negative interaction in a long time so that's great and they're walking on the leash pretty well yeah um, just learned some tips on, on keeping them uh, away from the fence, and uh, yeah, so it was a good experience. We appreciate you coming out. Thanks. It's just amazing the couple of hours that we've been able to work with him. Um, he has changed tremendously toward toward her. Um, and so <clears throat> I can see a big difference. We're able to actually clip him where before he's he's still knotted up back there, but we're going to give it a shot and see if that doesn't work and see if some of the things that she hasn't said to us and we can apply here for Ace. because my dog Handsome was completely unruly and I felt like he absolutely would dominate this entire house and he did and just a few minutes with working with her I can tell it's such a big difference in him just positive things from here on